Hi, I am Dr. Shirjil and today I would like to show you three cases of uh, subluxation of the natural crystalline lens. Here you can see clearly in the first case that the half part of the pupil is uh, aphakic whereas in the half you can see the crystalline lens and it is opacified to you can also say cataractious lens now the eye is moving and you can say that in the aphakic portion of the pupil there is a thin membrane that is also moving so vitreous that is vitreous so vitreous has also come anteriorly you can clearly now see the vitreous which and that's why the pupil is also oval shaped and you can clearly see the vitreous uh, moving so the other eye has got normal crystalline lens so when you see unilateral ectopia lentus the most common cause of such ectopia lentus is trauma the in the second case there is also unilateral ectopia lentus and the cause is trauma and in the third case we will show you the most common systemic disease associated with ectopia lentus which is morphine syndrome so what is ectopia lentus it is the dislocation of the natural crystalline lens the lens is called luxated when it lies completely outside of the highlight fossa when it is either in the anterior chamber or in the vitreous cavity and the lens is called subluxated when it is partially displaced but remain within the zonular area Ectopia lentus classification is also asked in the, asked in the exams so it can be congenital it can be associated with the ocular disorders and it can be associated with systemic disorders you can also see pterygium here in the other eye but you can see the pupil is normal and the lens is also normal so the congenital simple ectopia lentus that's also a bilateral disease there is no other ocular and systemic association and the other one which is important and asked in exams is ectopia lentus at pupilli it's a very interesting uh, rare disease in which the pupil and lens they go in the opposite direction like pupil is displaced superiorly and the lens is displaced inferiorly subluxated inferiorly or vice versa so if i saw clinically ectopia lentus at pupilli i will show you in some other video now that's the second case you can clearly see that the lens is subluxated inferiorly you can see the clear space but in this case you will not be able to see any vitreous so now i would like to tell you about the ocular disorders associated with ectopia lentus and iridia most commonly is associated with ectopia lentus congenital glaucoma pseudo exfoliation hypermature cataract high myopia megalocornea and retinitis pigmentosa in all these ocular diseases zanules are weak so the lens is predisposed to subluxation now the systemic associations marfan syndrome i would show you the case of marfan syndrome which came to me few months back so marfan syndrome is the most common cause of hereditary ectopia lentus after trauma it is the autosomal dominant disease and the defect is in the fibrillin gene the lens is subluxated supero temporally and the other features are spider like long fingers hyper elasticity of the joints the arm span is more than the height and uh, there are cardiac defects and pectus excavatum 
so i would like i would show you the disease the set next one is homocystinuria which is autosomal recessive disease there is intellectual disability osteoporosis chest deformities there is, is an increased risk of thrombotic episodes now that was the case of uh, marfan syndrome you can see superior temporal subluxation and you can see the pectus excavatum front view and now the side view from one side and now the side view from other side and on echocardiography there was moderate mitral regurg and alkaline phosphatase was also increased so in homocystinuria the lens dislocation occurs in 90 percent patients uh, it's bilateral and inferior the lens is subluxated inferior or inferior nasal the other diseases the systemic diseases are wheel marchesani sulfite oxidase deficiency hyperlysinemia heller denlos syndrome so so symptoms of uh, ectopia lentis uh, are decreased vision pain diplopia redness uh, the signs are raised intraocular pressure lens in the anterior chamber vitreous in the anterior chamber subluxated lens zanules or lens edges visible vitreous uh, in the pupil uh, retinal detachment uh, do echocardiography for morphons and plasma homocystinin for homocystinuria treatment medical if minimal correct only the refractive error if mild to moderate normal intraocular pressure constrict the pupil and if a fake ear disappears give myotics if lens anteriorly subluxated and pupil block dilate and make the patient supine so the lens posterior migration is facilitated decision to operate depends upon the vision lens location progressive subluxation of the lens imminent total dislocation and raised intraocular pressure not controlling with medications the surgical options are lensectomy plus anterior vitrectomy plus a fake glasses or contact lenses or anterior chamber intraocular lens or scleral fixated iols in the bag iol with a capsular tension ring now ctr is used if the zanular dehiscence is less than 180 degree mostly if it is more than 180 degree then you have to do aci well scleral fixation or afk glasses that's all about ectopia lentus thank you very much